Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Henry Cejudo about In Full Bloom, which is doing a theatrical run October 15th to the 21st, and it's going to be available on demand everywhere October 15th. Triple C, welcome to the show. It's good to see you. Absolutely, man. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this, uh, you know, for the launch of Info Bloom. I mean, it's, uh, you guys, it's going to be awesome. It's exciting. I mean, you're really passionate about this project. Um, you're executive producer. Um, how did this co- project come to be? Did you always know that after um, MMA that you were going to kind of dive into the entertainment world or did it kind of just happen at this point? No, of course. And I've always wanted to do a lot of things I've never done as, uh, as a fighter. You know, your time as... When you fight and you have things going on with fight, you're always yep. in fight camp. I've been doing this. I've been doing that stuff since I was 11. At the age of 33, I decided to retire. Yep. And uh, you know, I just recently just did a comedy show uh, last Thursday. So I've been doing a lot of things that I would typically never do if I was fighting. So yep. when I first saw the movie in, in Full Bloom, I, you know, actually Mike Tyson and his team actually introduced it to me, and I said, "Man, this. I think everybody has to catch this film. Everybody has to see this film." Yep. You know? A, a film of these of the post war uh post world war two with these two you know it, it's just i don't want to tell the whole story here but it's about this this japanese uh, man and this american man that, that they meet up and you're able to see their journey which is cool man because it's right post world war two and i think it's uh it's just an awesome sequence of two different storylines of two different cultures and uh you had to watch it to be able to able to uh, appreciate the film and the movie well that was my next question and you answered it which is awesome i mean you're 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 a like your background was in wrestling before going to kind of mma it's very interesting um to see kind of and i think you know what triple c henry cejudo you have such an amazing um resume um in the ufc with mma um, one can make an argument that a lot of things people talked about is the uh, evolution of your style over the years, you know, the wrestling based and, you know, going more of a karate stance as well. Um, is it safe to say that that's something that when you do interviews, looking back at your career, that you think about a lot, the evolution of your style over the years as well? Yeah, of course, man. The evolution of how, you know, it's, if if you don't involve in this game, man, it, it's, uh, fighting is just, it's a lot like business. If you're not catching up with the trends and the technology and the science uh, and things like that, so it does change a little bit. Yep. You know, you will go out of business. <laughs> it's the same thing as a fighter, like working hard is not enough. Mm-hmm. It, it, like, you know what I mean? Which is, uh, you know, well, for me, I, I traveled the world. As soon as I got knocked out by Demetrius Johnson, I traveled the world. I went to Singapore. I went to, uh, I went to Holland. I went to Brazil. I went to a lot of these different countries to, to, to engineer myself to the best of my you know, to the best to the best of my ability. Yep. I think that's what happened, man. So, you know, so even even going back to Info Blood, the movie, it's it's almost like that transition, the journey of a fighter. It's like it's not like this movie's not based on 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 love, man. It's it's based on it's based on this these two cultures, this culture of of people in preparation, leading towards and gearing towards something that's much bigger than themselves. You know, and and for me, it was you know is to accomplish my dream man, to become the first uh, Olympic champion and UFC champion in history. And on top of that, I was able to win a second belt. So I'm on cloud nine, man, to say the least, you know, I'm getting ready to be a dad. You know, my, uh, my wife is pregnant. She's going to be due next month. Wow. Congrats. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're out here for the, for the movie premiere to launch it, you know, to rewatch the movie. And we're just, uh, there's a lot happening, but it's, it's good, man. It's all, <laughs> Yeah, we're just stoked like you wouldn't believe it, man. You know, are you are you are you a, are you a father, man? Are you? Uh, you I'm not. Kids? I'm not a father, but uh, hopefully one day, absolutely. But it's 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 one of those things too, where you know, it's kind of like you know, at mi- like MMA, it's all fast paced and everything. The entertainment industry is obviously fast paced and everything going on with the premieres and everything. Or do you find you're getting a little bit used to the pace a little bit? Because obviously this is like in the octagon and everything. You're not actually fighting, but you're doing like interviews, red carpets, doing like meetings and everything. But it's all it's 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 still fast pace if you think about it. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's cool, man. It's entertainment. Like I'm even gonna bring back to you that that yeah. comedy show that we did on uh, 
I did it last Thursday. Like, they, keep in mind, man, I'm a fighter, man. You also I do did. a podcast too, do you not? Yeah. Yeah. I did, so I do a podcast with Mike Tyson. It's, yep. uh, it's, it's Hot Boxing, which is one of the biggest in the world. Um, but to go back to what I was telling you is when you – when you first, uh, you know, when when you fight, it's different. When, when, once you start doing like new things, you start to kind of create these creativities in your mind that kind of these chapters that tend to happen that you tend to grow from. Yeah. You know, because it was, it was a fear before you, before you go on. So you think about it, you're going on stage and trying to make, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, 500 people laugh. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not fighting and entertaining 500 people. You're your sole job is to make them laugh. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So I, just, so I just think like little things like that that uh that that have changed in my position. But it's almost like it's I, what I've noticed is that everything's still competitive. Yeah. And you still and you still got to be prepared. You cannot allow just your name alone kind of carry you. It's like no, you have to. You know, your name, my name may get me through the door, but will I stay in the door? And that's. You know, that, that's been cool if I was to tell you my two cents on retirement so far. But, you know, I find it very interesting, too, getting back to In Full Bloom. I mean, it's one of those things where you look at it. It's it's, it's a film that you're an executive producer on. And we're, we're trying to get as many people as we can to kind of know this film because it is a really awesome film. And I want as many people as possible to watch it. And it's one of those things where, you know... Um, one of the, one of the things people love about, you know, UFC specifically is, you know, the personas, a lot of the theatrics, it's a show, it's exciting. You know what I mean? The weigh-ins and everything. Um, obviously, you know, um, that's a huge part of it. Did that part of the industry as well kind of drive you and motivate you towards, you know, getting into the entertainment industry as well? Kind of the theatrical aspect of everything. It's a show you're entertaining as well. You're fighting, but there's an entertainment aspect of it as well, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is. There's action. There's okay. I, I I grew up watching The Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan as a kid. Like I grew up watching WWF. Mm -hmm. At that time, it's not until I found amateur wrestling where I just stopped watching it. But I I remember Macho Man Randy Savage, and we know the way these people would sell the storyline and how they would make it entertaining. Yep. And I'm just like, man, I'm kind of yeah, I'm not in the WWE, nor am I an actor, but I'm able to uh, convey that mm -hmm. you know through through my character, through what I've always wanted to do is, you know, through be like that macho man, you know, at the same time, it's like become the heel, create those storylines and pretty much send the elevators for the rest. I think, uh, uh <laughs> because, heel, I am the, yeah, because I am the bad guy. It's in reality, I'm actually the good guy. You know, I've been able to draw more attention, more eyeballs, save the flyweight division, the UFC when they're getting ready to cut it. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I've done quite a bit. I don't, I, I don't even think I get credit for it. The like the boot the like but you know what it's it's fuel I'm sure it also fueled you too. There's all these videos and everything where you're a crowd champ. I mean, you know the energy that you got off those crowds is like you can't you can't top that. Like that even whether they're booing you or cheering for you, that's like top notch insane energy. Yeah, of course, man. It's and, and it's it's beautiful, man. It's uh, it's there's nothing like it. But at the same time, I don't miss it. <laughs> I, I've I've done everything there is I've done everything there is to do, man. Like it's, I understand there's greater and better things. So in you're life. answering the question before I ask it of if you were thinking. Of <laughs> I'm ahead of the game, and I can see that strip from the bottom of your eyes too. I don't I'm know if I was gonna ask exactly that. I was gonna more ask like. It, but you know you're immersed you're still around it you know this is a film there is mma in the film and everything might there might be kind of some oh like you know i miss it a little bit but i mean i guess not you know what i mean no i'm not not I'm, and quite frankly i don't man and yeah. the reality i think the only thing that i this is why i want compensation yeah you know like it's got to be worth like now at this point it's strictly business man like, yeah. is is what i'm gonna do is it worth my legacy is yeah. it worth me giving away a lot of what i have now to come for this much of money or if the money's here let's bring it here mm -hmm. it'll make sense yeah. you know what i'm saying absolutely it's just different now especially not gonna be a father yep next month around this time actually i'm gonna be a dad for the first time so amazing i know that i gotta provide that yeah uh, do you think is there a, an argument also to be made that that fighters with a wrestling background like yourself and GSP and Khabib, you can't beat that. That's kind of the top wrestlers. Like that's the top, that's the top UFC, like the top MMA fighters that like you make yeah. an argument. Of course, man. Of yeah. course, man. The, the, once you've wrestled and everything in life is easy. 
Yeah. Like I tell people all the time that wrestling's like fighting is easy compared to wrestling because wrestling is so much more competitive. It's, it's a sport that's been matured for thousands of years. It's, the, it's considered the world's oldest, oldest sport in the world. And we've been able to maintain that, man. We've been able to, to see why it is the toughest and the greatest sport on earth. And uh, yeah. I'm just proud to be a cauliflower Conrad, man, you know? Oh, absolutely. And before we wrap up very quick about the film, I'm just curious. I always ask this question when I interview people, takeaway wise, like when people get to see the film, Henry, what are you hoping they get out of it? Like, what are you hoping that they take away from it? The audience when they watch it, man, the inspiration, man, what's involved in here. It's like, it's like, yeah, there's when, when two people fight it, there's really not a bad guy and a good guy. It's almost like they both have two separate journeys. Yeah. And it, it's cool to respectfully see both. Because as you watch the film, you will slowly start to think you're going for one guy. And next you know, you start to see everything that's happening in his life. You're like, man, I'm kind of jumping ship and going with the other guy. Absolutely. So what I'm saying is like everybody has, a, everybody has a story to tell. And everybody that wants to get there, they're going to do whatever it takes to get there. And it's just, it's just cool to see two different cultures post-World War II come together in the purest form of competition in boxing and display the art of war of what they're going to do in the ring. Absolutely. Triple C, I wanted to thank you so much for coming on the show, Henry. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. Um, people can check out the film. Uh, it's going to have a theatrical run and then it's going to be available October 15th. Well, it's going to be available yet yeah, tomorrow uh, on demand as well. Where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? Is that Instagram yeah, most likely? I'm everywhere, man. You guys just Google Triple C. You guys can find me everywhere. I'm, if you guys want to fight me, you guys can find me. <laughs> I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Henry. Uh, no problem. Thank you, guys. This has been Popternative, YouTube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. Be sure to check out in full bloom. Until next time, this is Triple C and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.